Welcome to George Brown College's Waterfront Campus and our Daphne Cockwell Centre for Health Sciences. All right, so welcome to Student Services at George Brown College. Student Services, I always like to tell students, is kind of like your behind the scenes paperwork kind of stuff that you have to do. This involves your registration, admission, scholarships, bursaries, grants, financial aid, all that stuff you would do through Student Services. All right, here specifically at Waterfront Campus, we have the Student Success Hub. Student Success Hub is a really great place for students to be able to come in and, you know, help themselves with our self-service kiosks. Also here in this uh, Student Success Hub is where this campus has their Career Centre, they have their Peer Connect students helping other students with things like uh, studying well, you know, tips and tricks and tools, work well, you know, tips and tricks and tools on how to get your resume and your cover letter up to stuff. Also our Peer Connect community uh, is out of Peer Connect at this campus. Peer in a community would be things like uh, meditation workshops, healthy eating workshops, and all the great stuff that can help you uh, balance your mind, body, and spirit while you're at the college. What's great about the hub here at this campus is there's lots of student space for you to come in and do studying, for you to come in have access to the computers, for you to do work, as well as use some of the office spaces that we have so that you can do your own quiet studying as well and there's even plants, so how can you go wrong with that? Definitely check out the Student Success Hub here at Waterfront Campus. Welcome to TLC, or the Tutoring and Learning Center here at George Brown College. If you were like me and you had challenges in math in high school, the Tutoring and Learning Center would probably be a great resource for you. Tutoring and Learning Center is students hired by the college to help work with you on things like your math skills and your English skills, your academic writing, and even study tips and tricks. It's all included in your tuition, so there's no added charge for you to work with these upper level students to be really successful in your classes. We have a Tutoring and Learning Center at each one of our main campuses, so make sure that if you do need the help that you reach out to them here at the TLC. At George Brown College, we also have our Indigenous Student Centre to support the needs of our Indigenous student community here at the college. But they're open to everyone. So please, if you want to learn more information from the folks here in these centres, please stop on by. Oh my God, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, here we are in the George Brown College bookstore. The George Brown College Bookstore is a really important spot for all students because of course when you come to post-secondary you need to get your books and your materials. Now I do say to students that think about your books and your materials as helping to build your professional library uh, for when you're studying as well as when you get out into industry. You know those books and those materials that you're going to be able to use when you get that job. So here in the library, you can find all of the most important stuff that you need, uh, of course, including your hoodies and your water bottles. And uh, let's not forget our good buddy, Helder the Husky here. This could be you, maybe not the Husky, but certainly the graduate. Now, if you're looking for information on what are your required materials, what are your required books, you can easily find that information by going to the bookstore link off of the George Brown College website. So definitely check out all the things that the bookstore has to offer, uh, either online or very soon here in person. Shh! Welcome to the library. The Library Learning Commons is your source for information and academic resources, research help, technology and tech help, study space and much more. There are library locations on every campus along with hundreds of online resources that you can access from home. The library has almost everything you'll need to ace your assignments and deepen your understanding of course concepts with everything from books and ebooks to newspapers and academic journals, LinkedIn learning videos, films and documentaries, short-term textbook loans and software related to your program. Research help is readily available in the form of video tutorials and online subject guides, live chat, text messaging, and email. And you can even book one-on-one -on -one meetings with librarians. They also have a wide range of technology freely available for you to borrow or use in the library, including laptops, Wi-Fi hotspots, VR, 3D printing lab, and if something's not working right, the library offers tech help both in person and online. You can find more about everything the library has to offer by visiting one of our spaces at George Brown. 
The student association uh, is very similar to probably what you had at your high school, uh, but certainly amped up in terms of the services that they offer to you guys. So think about things like health benefits plan, think about things like our student nutrition assistance program or food bank for students who may find it a little challenging uh, to have that little bit of extra cash during the week. Uh, they have volunteer opportunities here. They even have jobs for students on campus. And the best part, speaking about jobs, they also run a free tax clinic. Now, the Student Association is also really good at all the fun stuff that they have on campus. So not only do you have access to these great services, but you'll have access to their lounge spaces on campus as well for things like your comedy nights and your talent shows and your salsa nights. All that great stuff that most people know a student association does really well. So check out the Student Association here at George Brown College. 46, 47, 48, 49. At George Brown, we also have athletics. We have an athletic center at both our St. James and our Casaloma campuses. This is all included in your tuition and will give you access to our amazing fitness spaces that I love, as well as our open access gym for you to use at your leisure. And for our sports enthusiasts out there, we also have a number of teams for you that you might want to join. Check out our varsity sports teams as well as our intramural and our extramural. You can find all this information, of course, at georgebrown.ca. At George Brown College, we have a number of different learning spaces that you might find yourself in when you're here at the college. Of course, we have our state-of-the-art labs, but we also have regular style classrooms where you're going to be learning more of your theory-based stuff all the way up to our large lecture theatres like we have here. The seating actually rolls out of the wall so that you can turn this into one of our largest classrooms that we have at the college. I do want you to keep in mind though, something the college does really well is keeping those class sizes really small. So for the majority of your classes, if you find yourself even in a space like this, will still be around the 30 to 50 student mark. Your lab's even smaller with about 16 to 24 students. Here we are in our dental hygiene lab. Let's take a look at some of the other really cool spaces that make up our School for Dental Health. Welcome to the School of Nursing. So here we are on the fourth floor of the Daphne Cockwell Center for Health Sciences and our School for Nursing. Whether you're thinking about the one-year personal support worker, the two-year practical nursing program, or even the four-year collaborative program where you get to become a registered nurse working with Ryerson University, we have all of the tools of the trade that are gonna help you be prepared for when you graduate from George Brown College. Here we are at Daniel's Waterfront City for the Arts or the Design School at Waterfront Campus. Daniel's Waterfront City for the Arts was designed as a building to really focus those in the design industry into one specific space and we're thrilled that we can have our School for Design in that same building. So why don't we go on in and check out some of the great spaces that make up the Design School at Waterfront Campus. Welcome to our George Brown College School for Design. We're starting today at our in-store. Our in-store exists to help our design students get their work out into industry by putting it on ready to sell product. One of the greatest parts of the in-store is that any profits that's made off of these amazing designs goes into student scholarship for those design students. So check it out. Let's take a look at some of the other great spaces at the School for Design. Hey there. Welcome to George Brown College School of Design. Here, our game students create a studio every year where they recruit our game artists, our programmers, and our concept artists in order to work on games together that will be previewed at competitions and hopefully released at the end of the year. Our students work on these fantastic 27-inch screens 
They're called Cintiqs and they're special because with these pens, you can actually draw directly on the screen, manipulating your objects, creating your concepts, your storyboards, and your models. Our game design studio runs pretty much exactly the same way as any other studio would. Our students create game design documents where they list out everything that would happen in a game and they pitch it to their faculty. Once they're approved and refined, they then recruit in the game art students to work on those games. And here, we capture the students in real time. We do that using our Vicon system with these black suits that we cover in these markers. They reflect the infrared light back into these cameras that then pick up their movements and translate it all into the computer. This headset, we put on the participants, the cameras in the front pick up on the little dots we put on their face, translating that movement into the computer so that the animators can then refine the movements from there. Welcome to the Maker Lab at George Brown College School of Design. Anything you can imagine, you can get done in this space. We have our 3D printers, SLA for the small figurines, and our filament printers for our larger, more structural items. Over here, we have our laser cutter. We have people making pop-up Christmas cards. We have people making very small decorative boxes. To showcase some of the other things that we have created in this space, we have pieces made for the D&D Club here at the School of Design, all created by the students for the students. All right, it's time to say goodbye for our tour here at Waterfront Campus. The final spot we're coming to you is from our game art gallery in the design school. But thank you for joining us both at the Health Science Building and at the Design Building here today. For more information on any of the spaces that we saw, you can go to georgebrown.ca. I hope to see you at the college. Mm -hmm.